advice on how you can make a better looking hole using the shrink wrap. So this this was the hole that we made without the shrink wrap, and this is the hole that we made with the shrink wrap. So we can show you guys how neat it looks and if we if we go back here you can you can see sorry you can now see how this one looks like so we're gonna fix this hole uh, in this video so let's get started so uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share this video. Okay, let's let's just jump into the tutorial and let's say that I want to make a hole. Yeah. So normally uh, for this set select all this. So what I'll do just to double click here. So if you want to also select here, you can just select here and just type selecting point. So we want to make a hole here, yeah? so I want to make this video very fast. We can try if you can fix our axis, okay, normal also. So now you can go to script and go to point to circle. So this script is free. Uh, I'll drop the link in the description below. So let's scale this down. Scale it down to what we need. Okay, so uh, I think so we can now maybe select this place <coughs> and maybe go to a street in now. Then Push this guy. Push it forward. Okay, so if you add the subdivision now to this guy, and let's switch to ISOFAR, let's switch, let's switch it off. So this is what we get. This is what we get. You can see how deformed this hole is. But we can fix this. We can fix this. So let me show you now the correct way <coughs> you can do this. So we are going to use um, a tool called the shrink wrap. Yeah, so this tool is called the shrink wrap. So let me just hide this guy and bring on back this shape. I want to add more uh, selection to this guy. I'll explain later. Let's hold shift and actually should I you if you want to override this one, just click on select and set selection. Alright now, so before we get started, let me hide this guy. Let me show you how this uh, how these two work. Or is it how this shrink wrap work? Let's bring a sphere. Let's see how many solution now. Let's give it okay. 24 is okay. We can make it editable objects. So this is the front. So let's delete this part. Click on selection, go to point mode, and select this part. So now we, <coughs> we want to let's bring a plane, change your rotation to Z. We can reduce the size of the plane. Uh, okay, let's change the rotation again to Y or Z. Okay, 
I think this plane is good. So let me show how the shrink wrap work. We want to wrap this plane around this stuff. So we just click on the plane and drag the screen the shrink wrap under the plane. And click on the shrink wrap. The shrink wrap will tell us to add a target object. We can drag in the sphere. And watch what happened. The plane is now showing to the sphere. So let's see it better. Let's hide this guy. And you can see what is going on now. So we're going to apply the same thing to our, our hole. So let's now do the hole now. Let's hide all this. Uh, okay. okay, so. <coughs> Sorry. So let's do it again. Um, go to the script. Let's make a copy just in case. Okay. Oh. Go to the script. Go to point to circle. Now you can scale down. You can see we still have this deformation. So what we can do now is once you're done like this, you can. Um, I think light selects this one, select this area, the area that is affected. <coughs> and, uh, okay. And then you right click and split. So this is a split version. You can hide, you can now select this guy and delete it. So now we have two version. So this is the whole we just split out from. So we can hide this guy now. So this guy now we're gonna use the shrink wrap to solve it. But before then, like I said, we made a copy. Which is very important. We can on it back. We can double click this guy and split this part. So we can also add this. So we have this part and also let me drag this in down. We have these two parts. So this is the main hole. So this is where sorry. So this is where we're gonna shrink our whole tool like we did before let's click here and let's add the shrink wrap here go to before mass click on shrink wrap and drag it under here i think this is over here so the shrink wrap will ask us to put a target object here just drag this part that we split and drag it in okay sorry sorry you can shrink up and drag the targets. So what will happen? You can see the the cylinder tries to wrap itself around this shape. So what you can do now is um, it's also good to also have a copy. You can add all these guys in junk. Let's create a new one. Call it junk. <coughs> Let's add all our all these guys here. Yeah. And also make a copy of this guy. Now we can uh, <coughs> select the shrink wrap and cylinder and click on connect and delete. So to remain that shape. So now this is the guy, we don't need this guy anymore, we can hide it back. Okay, I think we own our cylinder, okay. We'll bring up our cylinder, we own it, I guess, this is our cylinder, I guess. Yeah, so this is our cylinder, which one is this, let's see what one is this. Okay, I don't think we need this one. 
Let's just add it back to the triangle. Sorry, I wanted to make it clear first. So now we have the, the fixed area. And now. So we can we can still work on work with this. So it's not merged together yet. So let's also make a, a studio now. Let's make a supporting edge. Okay, so this looks good. <coughs> so we can now um, connect the leads. Um, you can select both of them. You can see this is a hole that we detached the first one and fix the the uh, the shape with shrink wrap. So you can click on connect the leads. I notice uh, this is still detachable. You can still see hope. So how to fix this? You can just right click and click on optimize. And okay, since that I think we have to highlight the whole shape. Click on Ctrl A, and then you right click and click on optimize. So you can see it's now one object. So I think this is a bit better. I think I still have some deformation here, but I think it's manageable compared to before. So now we can now maybe sorry. We can now select this part and hold control. Uh maybe uh sorry, <laughs> hold Let's scale down. Okay. So now if we, uh, we can now extrude now this idea again. And go to the line code to add um, UL, UL. Sorry, look, look at KL, sorry. Add here, add here, and add here. So now if you on the hold to alt G, the one subdivision this will have. You can see this is <coughs> This is much better than um, the previous one. Let let me show you guys the previous one. Um, shape this. Let's move on to. You can see. You can see that this is much better. This is much better than this one. So this is not that accurate. I'm just watching the tutorial so I can show you guys how you can fix this kind of results. So if you think this video is helpful, so please like and subscribe to get more updates on um, some quick tips. So take care.